Okay, sources for free audio. Um, this presentation is about a couple of online sources for free audio, but first let's start out with some terminology. Uh, copyright, it's very important. Um, people have copyright whether or not they want it. Uh, any original work that someone creates is copyrighted in their name. Um, there's different ways of not having copyright or selling copyright. One of them is royalty free. Uh, when you hear the term ro royalty free it means that someone has granted you access and they don't collect royalties themselves on that work. Um, this is different than free. Um, remember that uh, you can get a lot of things for free online but that doesn't necessarily mean you're exempted from copyright laws. Uh, commercial use and non-commercial use are terms to define what uh, a particular audio source could be used for. If you can use it for commercial use, then usually um, you can use it for most anything. In For educational purposes, commercial use uh, sound clips would be perfect because you know for a fact that they would work out for you. You wouldn't be violating any type of copyright. Um, if it's for non-commercial use, uh, even in education, that's probably pretty okay. Um, public domain refers to things that either were created uh, a while back before some of the uh, more stringent copyright laws of today or things where the copyright has actually run out and expired and now the rights to to that particular uh, media are actually owned by the public. Nobody owns them. Um, Creative Commons is an interesting new a type of license that's gaining popularity where content creators or we'll talk about sound clips or audio people that create audio can decide that they want this to be shared um, and there's lots of different types of creative commons licenses you have to kind of research and see which one is being specified a lot of times you have to give credit to the the creator and things like that uh, anyway the two different sources are partners in rhyme.com and radiodaddy.com and I'd like to spend just a little bit of time talking about each of these uh, they're pretty neat websites that you can find a lot of good content from um, the first one partners in rhyme.com has quite a few neat features uh, the the first being just a lot of stuff a lot of uh, material and it, it's it's organized fairly well um, sound clips, sound loops, uh, lots of stuff that you can go on download and use for your projects. Um, when you go on this website you'll I'm gonna show you actually in a second here what the website looks like which should be helpful um, but a lot of the things are really easy to preview instead of having to download a whole bunch of stuff and or search through a lot of stuff you can easily just go on uh, listen to a sound clip, see if you like it, and then download it um, if you do. And that's free content. Most of the free content is also royalty free, meaning that you actually could use it in your projects, especially educational projects, uh, should be alright. Um, this site also contains other paid and royalty free content. Um, you can buy CDs, DVDs, or uh, just pay and download. Um, this might not be the the best route for a student as uh, they probably don't want to pay for the content but in educators in, in material creation um, would be really great. So here's the website as you can see it's pretty pretty uh, neat and easy easily laid out. Uh, the other website was radiodaddy.com and some of the features that it has it's obviously geared towards radio as you can tell from the title um, but the really cool feature here is that they have free voiceover requests um, voiceover referring to uh, any type of voice talent that that you can implement into your multimedia projects they also have free sound effects and sound beds um, to go along with this you could actually if you were doing an educational podcast or things like that you could do the whole thing radio production style and get most of your sources for free from this website. Um, they do actually a lot of paid content as well and that's kind of the idea behind 
the website that's based around an online forum. Um, you have a lot of freelance artists who are looking for uh, potential bigger projects, but they're more than happy to do some things for free and help people out. Uh, and let's take a look at that site. As you can see, it's it's uh, a forum, pretty easy to to navigate through that one as well. Um, so there you have it. Those are the two sources that I wanted to show you. Uh, but really, you need to just go to the website, click through, see what you can find. Um, it's pretty cool. You'll find some some really neat stuff. I think that can be at the same time as just being neat it can be really useful and actually I think a great way to end the presentation would be by showing you one of these uh, or letting you listen to one of the sound clips Spring Spring Name that tune. this is Jay Glow here and this song is hot 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 check it out HP Spring Fling, you won't want to miss it.